Hey, it's Curtis with the Epic Gamer Girl, Sarah the Epic Gamer Girl. Hello. And uh, we're on the third level of Little Nightmares. Things got a little dicey. The last chapter, we made some enemies. But we'll see if we can do a little bit better this time. Hopefully not die as much. Uh, I think we could already see the fruits of our labor. These hooks, I bet, originally had those little uh, packaged uh, orphan delicacy meats hanging on them. Oh. There's one right there, maybe. You grab onto that one. Yeah, I'm gonna... I missed it. Oh, I missed it again. No! Those oh. orphans are a lot bigger than you. I must uh, have to jump on a body to summon a new one. Or not. Oh. There we go. I think we know now where these uh, packaged babies go to. Right here, uh, somebody should be coming to... Oh, man, again? It's like clockwork. I get somewhere interesting and I get indigestion. Well, there's a lot of packaged food around I'm here. I'm not eating orphan meat. I will... I mean, I've obviously done terrible things, but... I'm not going to succumb to that level just yet, especially when there's fresh rat all over the place. Seems like if they're eating the orphans, there's a bunch of them laying around in, like, gross conditions. Uh, I mean, I don't think... Hey, rat traps! What did I tell you? I told you I was going to eat a rat eventually. And that day is today. Gross. Oh, here we go! Mmm! Born to be a hunter, I was smart, because if you're going to uh, kill an animal by biting it, you always go for the, the nape of the neck. Surrender it, paralyze, and go for a quick kill. But, okay, I'm satiated. Let's uh, move forward and forget that happened. I mean, that rat's neck should have already been broken from that trap. It wasn't all the way broken, and that probably assisted me in my uh, eating how strong I am. I've, like, absorbed the powers of the rat. I'm, uh, you know, quicker, stronger, uh, more intelligent, all rat-like qualities. Uh, look at that. Normally, I would never be able to open a door. Last time we needed... Oh, this cart's, like, free will, and I can take this wherever I want. Surprised nobody looked through that window at you. Mm, sounds like you should hide or climb up. I will climb, but I think he is busy doing something. I'm going to take this for distraction purposes. I'm going to look up and make sure there be no gnomes or statues to break. I've decided on a you know separate video. I'm gonna go back to those other levels and I'm gonna find the gnomes and free them, because while they may be imaginary fictional creatures, they're real to me. Oh gosh. He's too big. He can't reach. He looks like he's made out of dough. Okay, come on now. Why can I not? Oh, Get gosh. up there. Run. I'm running. Oh, there's just a door right there? Yeah, it looks like it. Uh, it was a bad idea on my part to go for the barrel. Um. Oh, no, come on. Yeah, he got you. He well, knew you were under there. <laughs> and he just gets back to his job. 
Okay. I find that most of my deaths are not seeing where I need to run to. So maybe we can just not alert this guy from the outset and that will make my life a lot easier. Quietly. Rat like. No. No. He, he just... heard you. Okay, well, now I know to just go out the door. Sometimes with these 3D, 2D games, you kind of lose a sense of depth. Woo, follow the gnome. There's two of them. Well, I'm following them. Those are some big fish. He must be really small. Well, I mean, fish can be really big. Okay, this looks like a good place to climb. I recognize a good climbing place. Hold on, I gotta light this. Can you jump over there? Oh, yeah. I, uh... Oh, gosh, he is mad. Well, what is he gonna do to me? He's trying to get you. He can't you. reach. I think... I think he maybe can. Oh. Dude, this guy is fat. How does he get those fish, then? Probably with a ladder. But he doesn't seem too concerned. Okay, what I don't like is it's really hard to navigate. <laughs> I like that he's reaching for you from all the way over there. Okay, slowly making my way through. Trying not to fall. You have to jump. I think you should walk well, back. I gotta go back. You could be a gymnast. Oh gosh, he's coming. This guy's got. Oh, oh, he's hoping you just, fall. Uh, just get up on your tippy toes. You're so close. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna throw this pot on his head. No. Check this out. That probably is one of your spirits in it. And that was probably your only chance, too. That was, I was going to knock him out, then I could just like hang out up here and be fine. Okay, I can go a little bit faster. I feel, I'm starting to feel more confident. Did you ever find the gnome? Uh, not in this level. I'm going to go back and see if I can find the, gnome, the gnomes in the other level. Because I want to rescue all of them. And it saves your progress, so even... It'll, it'll act like they've always been saved. Well, that looks like my exit. Got fish hanging really high. Or it's a secret room. I don't know. Twin toilets. Uh, was it Jack and Jill bathroom to the extreme? Oh, we have another picture. It's a it looks like a very ugly girl. <laughs> Oh, there he is. Oh, you know what? I'm going to sneak up on him. I feel like it's a trap. A trap it may be, but one I have to take. I want to open up. Okay, I can peek around these rooms a little bit. What if one of the spirits is in this teapot? No, the spirits are only in like weird-looking statues. Okay, there's a hiding place if we need it. I'm going into stealth mode. Looks like a small children's room. A hippo? No, it was whoever that painting was of. That looks like a hippo head. I'm going to climb up here. Oh, there's a key, which we'll definitely need. Oh. oh man. Oh, is it of another chef? I can't see. Alright, let's jump over here. And start throwing crap. If I'm lucky, I'll knock him out. I think oh, I'm... I think I broke his skull. Now for the killing blow. I think he left the room. Really? Yeah, I really think well, he Well, I'm gonna come over here to be safe. I mean, he can definitely reach that shelf. No, he's right there. Oh, there he is. He just is blind, I guess. Is he blind? Okay, I think he's killing me. Okay, this is my chance. Nope, wrong button. Ah! <laughs> um, 
Yeah. We're not we're not done throwing stuff. Okay, I can't climb up there. No, you just I don't I don't know what you're gonna do. You're gonna have to jump down on the bed. On the bed! And he doesn't notice that, really. You're gonna have to climb fast. Climb faster. Woo. Oh my gosh, climb faster. Faster. He's too dumb! I you should've been caught. Shoulda coulda woulda. Not he, my fault, he sucks. He should just tip that dresser over, you'd be dead. Okay, I... We're gonna try something. We're gonna try to lure him back over here. Dude, chill out. I think he's throwing up. Well, maybe he should stop eating, like, rotting fish and rotting bodies. He'd be a little bit healthier. So, that other chef must sleep in here, too? They're twins, I guess? Oh, that explains the double turlets. Okay, he, he bounced out. He's going to get his brother to help him. Oh, I can't climb up that. Ah! Whoa. Oh, broke my shins. Okay, back to the Jack and Jill toilets, which reminds me of an old SNL skit, uh, the lover's toilets. Where, but they weren't like side by side. They were uh, an adjacent, but one was flipped the other way so they can look each other in the eye as they went. Where does, yeah, where does this little gnome go? He's too fast. Well, he goes in the room. Maybe he goes under the bed. No, he goes in the room. Let's check this out real quick. I still think we need the key, so let's just get the key. Then we can double double back. I think you should check for the gnome under the bed. He's not under here. Well, last time when you started think... to climb that thing, he ran behind the bed. The so gnome? He... Yeah. We're going to go very quietly. You're going to have to wait for the ship to tilt. No, i got to swing it myself. This is going to wake him up. gone for the key before he turned the light on. He just leaves? Well, okay. <laughs> yeah, he's not... He's busy. He just assumes that you took the key with you somewhere? No, he doesn't notice the key's missing. He just thought he heard something. He's, he's waking up to oh, do gosh. his morning business. You're just gonna, like, wait it out? I think he comes back. Maybe you should set the key, like, by the door and then climb up and you can climb down on that other side. Right, well, let's just check out. Maybe he's out using the, the, ba the banyo. Alright, pretty risky. I don't want to make any loud sounds because I don't want to attract him. Where did he even go? I think he's taking... He just sprinted out of no, there. he's taking a dump. He's... Well, okay, he's like, Oh, brother's working. This is my one chance to use the restroom in peace. It was his idea to get the doubles. Good thing that just knew you were... Oh, it's it. weight sensor. That's how elevators work. Okay, there's... There's my little gnome friend. Oh. Oh, you're back here again? Am I, though? Is this the same place? Yeah, it is. See? Oh, oh maybe it it's is. the same guy. No, that's his brother. But I have a key now, but did we see it somewhere to use a lock? Mm, I don't think so. The gnome ran this way, so let's... Oh. He's trapped. Here, I'll let you out. Sorry. I'm sorry. Give, give me a little hug. Give me some sugar. Okay, you're good. You're good now. Um, no, don't take the key! <laughs> well, you don't even know where you're taking the key. Well, I'm taking it to the right, because... Oh, ah! gosh. Yeah, that's 
unfortunate. How did he... The gnome tipped him off. He gnome. ratted you out. <laughs> yeah, he did. Snitch. 